Well, New Farms Idea Factory is an indoor innovation space used to bring idea farm equipment inside to conduct presentations and demonstrations. And once again, this half hour, we are joined here in our studio by New Farm President and GM Brendan Deck to speak more about New Farms Initiative to deepen the community's understanding and appreciation of agriculture. Thank you again Thank for you. being here. Appreciate it. So for people who maybe didn't tune in last half hour, just give us an overview again of this factory and farm. Well, we have our plant based in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, we had some spare space in the, in the car yard, if you like, at the back, and we decided to turn it into a small farm plot where our staff and, and local students could uh, see and experience hands-on um, growing a crop from preparing the soil uh, through to harvesting it at the end of a year. So a full 12-month hands-on experience of farming for people who probably don't normally in their day-to-day -day lives get to experience agriculture at its heart. And why is this so important to you? You kind of touched upon it last half hour, you know, that you really want to make an impact and hopefully mm. maybe somebody will be so moved by this that they will want to become a farmer. Why is that so important to you? Oh, look, we, we need people in agriculture. Agriculture, to, to me, is uh, I'm probably a little bit extra passionate about agriculture, but I feel it is one of the most important industries in our, in our globe. Mm -hmm. I mean, as our populations are expanding, uh, people want to uh, eat um, higher quality food. We need more food. Um, we, and we need to understand, well, how do we do that? Um, but a lot of the time, my, my children, for example, you know, they eat a loaf of bread. Do they really understand where it's come from and, and how it's been prepared and what makes that of the highest quality we can possibly produce? So that's what we would hope, is that through an education process that we can excite people to understand more about what they're ending up with the end result. So how did, the, how did all that happen and how can they be involved in that? If we can have some students come through the program, and, and want to do agriculture as their careers, that would be, uh, we would tick that box as being a success. Absolutely, and of course, what you just said is also our mission here at RFD TV, so we fully support this. Uh, let's talk a little bit more. I, obviously, you hope there's no challenges when you have an idea, <laughs> but have you been faced with any challenges so far? Oh, definitely, agriculture, we always have challenges, and mm -hmm. just hearing the segment before with market prices dropping and through things like that, that certainly is one that I would probably rather come in here and hear they're all on the way up. It would make me, uh, <laughs> say there's not another challenge right. but we certainly did I mean we started with a Astra felt uh, car park so we had to remove that and take out 18 inches of stone and rubble and, wow. and replant it back in with some good topsoil and then we probably had a, like a two-week education process where we had all the truck drivers who decided to use it as a shortcut so we had to stop them driving through the <laughs> middle of it and wow. that was uh, you know a bit yeah. of an education and then we had the local county who decided to come in and back flush a couple of fire hydrants that were close by and Ooh. Didn't realise that we had something going there and we ended up with a flow. But that was all part and parcel of it all and it added to the uh, the challenges that come around. In everyday agriculture, we had our own based in a, in a city environment. Mm -hmm. But we got through them and that what's, uh, it puts a smile on everyone when they talk about it now around the water cooler, the little extra bit they had to do to make this a success. Very nice. Now, of course, a lot of people, this is going to pique a lot of interest out there. If people would like to learn more about New Farm and about the Farm and Factory, sure. how can they do so? Look, well, obviously through social media. Um, there's every avenue through there or through our webpage, um, newfarm.com forward slash US. Um, I'm sure if they got on there, they would be able to find uh, the Twitter, the Facebook, the, all mm -hmm. the pages, that social media that I'm probably still learning half the time of how to use them properly. But it's, <laughs> we would be uh, constantly updating that and okay. we encourage people to to monitor what we're doing and then to uh, reach out to us and if they would like to get involved, when, uh, we'd, we'd be more than happy to share the experience. Great, and we will make sure that we also have that information on our website, rfdtv.com. Brendan Dagg, President and GM of New Farm, thank you very much. A pleasure meeting you. No, thank you for allowing us the time. And be sure to keep it right here on your Market Day Report. The next hour begins right after this.